Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain different operations on signal. I will explain each and every operations with examples. Here in this video, I will cover operations on signal like time shifting operation, time folding operation, time folding and shifting operation, time scaling operation, amplitude scaling operation and arithmetic operation. In arithmetic operation, I will explain addition of signals, subtraction of signals, multiplication of signals and division of signals. So first of all, I will explain time shifting operation. See in time shifting operation, we have two categories. One is delayed signal and second is advanced signal. If you talk about delayed signal, then in time domain, if you want to delay signal by T naught, then it will be X of T minus T naught. And in discrete domain, if you want to delay signal by K element, then that will be X of N minus K. For example, if you have unit step signal, where this signal that is initiated from T is equals to zero. And for T is equals to and greater than zero, that signal is having amplitude one. If you delay this signal, by T naught duration, then you will be forwarding this signal by T naught delay. You can observe here, I have forwarded this signal by T naught delay. So as and when you perform delay operation, at that time, you will have to forward signal by given delay. Here delay is T naught. One more thing that you need to understand. See, if you forward the signal by T naught delay, then you will be shifting the reference in backward direction. So in delay operation, we forward signal by given delay. At that time, reference is shifted towards backward direction. Let me explain discrete domain example. Here we have one discrete signal X of N. And here we have a reference. You can observe by arrow, we indicate reference. Now, as if I want to delay this signal, then what will happen? Then we will be forwarding signal in forward direction, right? At that time, reference is shifted towards backward direction. So as if you have X of N minus 2. At that time, we need to shift this reference towards backward direction. So here we are shifting that by 2 element. So here you can observe this arrow which is a reference now that is shifted by two elements so now it is there at one point naught right so in time shifting operation as and when you do delay operation at that time you will be forwarding signal by given delay at that time reference is shifted towards backward direction second operation is advanced the signal if you advance the signal by t naught duration then signal will be X of T plus T naught. And in discrete domain, if we advance the signal by K element, then signal will be X of N plus K. If you observe here, we have one rectangular pulse where this pulse that is ranging from minus T by 2 to plus T by 2 and that is having amplitude A. If you advance the signal, by T naught duration, then what you will be doing is you will be shifting this waveform in backward direction. If you shift the waveform in backward direction, then that is advancement. Here we will be advancing this signal by T naught duration. So you will be observing this rectangular pulse will go in backward direction. So here you can observe this rectangular pulse. Now that is going in backward direction. So this lower limit. Now that will be minus T by 2 minus T naught and this upper limit. Now that is plus T by 2 minus T naught means we are shifting this waveform in backward direction by delay of T naught. If you shift this waveform in backward direction, then you will be shifting reference in forward direction. If you observe here, we have discrete signal that is X of N. Then with this X of N, reference is given over here and as if you perform advanced operation then here you need to shift 
this reference in forward direction. If you perform n plus 2, then you will have to forward this reference by two element in this direction. So now new reference with n plus 2 that will be available over here, right? So always remember in delay, we will be performing x of t minus t naught. And in that case, waveform is shifted in forward direction. You can observe over here and reference is getting shifted in backward direction. You can observe over here. And in advancement, we will be shifting this waveform in backward direction. You can observe over here and we will be shifting this reference in forward direction. You can observe over here. Now I'll explain you next operation that is time folding operation. See in time folding operation, we will be generating mirror image of given signal. If you have one signal that is x of t, then folded signal will be x of minus t. And in discrete domain, if you have signal x of n, then folded signal that will be x of minus n. If you observe here, we have step signal. And if you perform x of minus t operation, then you can observe now signal is going towards this direction. That is folded version means here amplitude of the signal that is one for t less than or equal to zero, right? And here amplitude of the signal that is one for t greater than or equal to zero. Let me give you a few more examples. Here you can observe we have one discrete signal. Now in this discrete signal at n is equals to zero, we have zero amplitude. At n is equals to one, we have 0.5 amplitude. At n is equals to two, we have two amplitude. And at n is equals to three, we have 4.5 amplitude. Now if you perform folding, then we will be having x of minus n. And in x of minus n, now see the element which is there at n is equals to one. Now that is there at n is equals to minus one. The element which is there at n is equals to two. Now that is there at n is equals to minus two. The element which is there at n is equals to three. Now that is there at n is equals to minus three, right? Let me give you a few more examples. See here we have one discrete signal and with this discrete signal reference is given over here. See in folding operation reference will remain as it is, right? So as and when you fold this signal at that time, first of all, you need to write down this sequence in reverse order. So if you observe here, we have X of minus N where this sequence now that is there in reverse order and reference is there at two point not over here, right? So in folding operation, what we do is we perform mirror image of given signal. Now I will increase the complexity here. I will explain time folding and shifting operation. See in time folding and shifting operation, there are a few basics that you need to note down and be careful when you perform this, right? Let us have one signal over here. That is X of N that is happening like this. Now, if you perform folding operation, then you will have to generate mirror image of this. So that is this, right? Now, along with folding, as in when you perform shifting operation, at that time, you should be very careful. Like you see here, I'm performing X of minus N minus two. So in this situation, I need to shift this folded version in backward direction by two element. If you have X of N minus two, at that time, what we do? We forward the signal by two element. But if you have X of minus N minus two at that time, first of all, you need to generate X of minus N and then you will have to do backward operation, right? In normal case, in X of N minus two, you will be performing forward operation. But in case of X of minus N minus two, first you will have to generate X of minus N and then you will have to shift signal in backward direction by two element. So here you can observe, I have shifted it by 
two element in this direction right now if you perform x of minus n plus 2 then you will have to forward this signal by two element in this direction so you can observe now this signal is like this so always remember see as and when you have x of minus n minus 2 or x of minus n plus 2 signal at that time first of all you need to perform folding operation after folding if there is minus 2 then this signal that should be shifted by two element in this direction and if you have x of minus n plus 2 at that time this folded signal that you will have to shift in forward direction by two element right so be careful when you do this operation now i'll explain you next operation that is time scaling operation this is very essential you need to understand this if you have x of n like this and if you want to perform expansion then in expansion here i am expanding this signal by factor of 2 so at that time signal will be x of n by 2 now here if you perform n by 2 then see this time axis that you need to multiply by 2 like you can observe here at n is equals to 1 we have 0.5 element now this element that will be there at 2 if you observe at n is equals to 2 we have element 2 now that will be there at 2 into 2 means at fourth position and if you observe at third position element is 4.5 now this element that will be there at 3 into 2 means it is there at 6 right so in expansion we perform n divided by 2 now i'll explain you contraction so for contraction here i'm considering x of n like this and in contraction if you perform x of 2n then this signal that is getting contracted now how it is getting contracted you see this is reference so reference will be as it is right but if you observe here we have second element that is one now that second element that will come to location one if you observe this is fourth element now this fourth element that will come to location two and if you observe here we have sixth element so that sixth element now that will come to location three that is how we perform comparison let me take one more example here we have one signal and for this signal we need to perform expansion as per x of n by 2 so if you perform expansion then this reference that will be staying over here only but if you observe this element which is there at minus 1 now that will come to minus 2 this element which is there at minus 2 now that will be coming over here at minus 4 likewise the element which is there at n is equals to 1 now that will come to n is equals to 2 and the element which is there at n is equals to 2 now that you need to place at n is equals to 4 and see this vacant space that will be having zero value right now let me explain next operation that is amplitude scaling operation see that is quite simple in amplitude scaling you just need to multiply given scale factor for example if you have signal that is x of n which is appearing like this and if you perform amplification then here i am multiplying this x of n by 2 so at n is equals to 1 here we have 0.5 into 2 that will be 1 at n is equals to 2 here we have 2 into 2 now that will be 4 at n is equals to 3 here we have 4.5 into 2 that will be 9 right simply we need to multiply amplification factor sometimes we do attenuation even like you can observe here we have one signal now if you want to attenuate that then in attenuation that scaling factor that will be lower than 1 here i am performing x of n divided by 2 so all these elements that we are dividing by 2 you can observe so now all ones from 0 to 6 
now that is 0 0.5 from 1 right now, now i will perform arithmetic operations in arithmetic operations i will perform addition subtraction multiplication and division operations between x of n and y of n here we have x of n and y of n in form of sequence you can observe and here we have a reference with x of n and here we have a reference with y of n before you solve all these operations you need to be careful about one thing as in when you have arithmetic operation at that time you need to write down both of the sequence with respect to reference here you can observe both of the sequence that i have mentioned in alignment with respect to reference but if you don't have elements at that time you need to do zero padding for example if you don't have value over this side then you will have to mention zero over here and then you just need to align x of n and y of n with respect to reference right if you don't have data in forward direction then by having a zero padding just do alignment of x of n and y of n with respect to reference if you don't do that alignment in that case there are higher chances that you will be doing error now i will perform addition of x of n and y of n and that we need to do with respect to reference so here we have reference so at reference 2 plus 2 that is 4 now if you go in this direction then 1 plus 1 that is 2 and in this direction 5 plus 0 that is 5 and in this direction with respect to reference 3 plus 0 that is 3 and 1 plus 2 that is 3 now i will perform subtraction that is x of n minus y of n so here we have a reference so 2 minus 2 that is 0 then here we have 1 minus 1 that is again 0 then we have 5 minus 0 that is 5 and in this direction 3 minus 0 that is 3 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 right now i will perform multiplication operation see with respect to reference you need to perform this so with respect to reference 2 into 2 that is 4 1 into 1 that is 1 5 into 0 that is 0 and over this side 3 into 0 that is 0 and 1 into 2 that is 2 right with all the elements you will have to perform arithmetic operation with respect to reference if you observe division operation then here we are performing x of n divided by y of n so phi divided by 0 that is infinite 1 by 1 that is 1 2 by 2 that is again 1 3 by 0 that is infinite 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 so that is how we can perform arithmetic operation but be careful with respect to reference you will have to perform all the arithmetic operations i hope you have enjoyed this still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video